So I wanna talk about something today. I would like to talk about stealing. I wanna talk about taking things that don't belong to you. I'm in the mindset that a good portion of my audience, in a good portion of everybody, honestly, would, on a, would really care if something was taken from them. If somebody stole something from them, be it a TV, be it money, jewelry, honestly, it doesn't really matter what it is. You would care if somebody took it from you. If it was something that was yours and somebody took it from you. Truth is, stealing can take place not just in the physical world, but also in the digital world as well. I would have really hoped that like at this day and age where the internet and technology and everything like that is so just prevalent, it's, it's kind of the future, it's kind of now, the present, where everything is technology, everything's on the internet. I would figure by now that people would honestly start caring and start like getting into the same mindset that just because it's digital doesn't mean it's okay to take it. <laughs> it, it sadly, that's just not the case. I guess when it's not a physical item that you can hold in your hands or, um, yeah, <laughs> or even something like a credit card, that's still physical. I guess when, yeah, when it's not a physical thing you can hold in your hand, people just do not associate that it's stealing. They they cannot put two and two together for some reason. I, I don't I don't know what that is. What keeps people from thinking that? Or maybe maybe they just are able to detach themselves enough away from the situation because it's online that they they don't get the same kind of sympathy or guilt that they would if they took something physical from someone else in person. But because it's digital and it's a digital item such as maybe. I don't know, just to name a few things, uh, artwork, photos, written work, such as poetry, stories, or even data. People people can steal data, they can steal your internet usage. There, there's a ton of things that people could steal from you online. And that, that honestly, it goes credit card numbers, that's online. I mean, it's an, also, it's a physical item. But for some reason, people don't associate uh, stealing when it, if it's if it's something that's online if it's it just it blows my mind honestly this whole situation and the fact that I even have to like address this it just it's it's blowing my mind <laughs> so honest there is no gray area when it comes to digital work it's still somebody's creation it's still somebody's work there's no gray area you are a thief nobody's honestly I can't think of like a one instance right now where somebody has taken something from me in the personal physical real world however in the last year online um, it's kind of getting out of hand with how many things are being swiped or reposted or just taken from my social media or anything like that and just put up somewhere else to be used as that new person's item and you know I, I get it I I do understand like a little bit I, I kind of understand where you guys are coming from um, I get that a lot of you are fans of EMH I get that a lot of you are fans of maybe just Evan in general and I get I understand like I post a lot of pictures of us I post a lot of pictures of just Evan I sometimes even post behind the scenes shots and shots of all of us hanging out together. I, I get that that probably, you know, gets some of you excited. That makes some of you excited for maybe the next episode or the next creative thing that these people are gonna make. Or maybe you just wanna show appreciation of that person because enjoy their work. It doesn't make it okay. So like I said, I've had numerous photos of mine taken and reposted. Um, they've been used for all sorts of things, be it roleplay blogs, be it uh, fan Instagrams, fan Tumblrs, um, fan blogs. People have just taken it for their personal Instagrams and stuff like that. Uh, the list, it, it honestly goes on for what the photos, uh, what these photos are being used for. However, not once, not one single time have any of you and I mean you as a general, you as public, if this applies to you, I'm speaking to you. Not one of you has ever bothered to even ask my permission, to ask if I was okay with it. 
Um, and that just shows a good level of disrespect for me. It shows a good level of disrespect for Evan. It's just, it's very rude. It's very disrespectful. And I know a lot of you are going to say, while well, you post these pictures on public forums, you post them on public social media, you know, they're open to the general public. Either, you know, it's going to happen is one of the arguments I know I'm going to hear, or, um... I'm also probably going to hear, well, if it's public, then it's public and anyone can use it. I know I'm going to hear both of these arguments and both of them are stupid. <laughs> I'm just going to put that right out there. Both of them are stupid. I understand that I post them to a public social media, um, but that doesn't make it okay and I'm not going to get over it. I'm really not going to just get over it that people are taking things of mine. Um, you know, I, it's one thing, and I was talking about this to Evan the other night, it's one thing if you guys are taking screenshots and making GIFs of, like, the show itself, but it's another thing if you're going onto somebody's personal Instagram, even if it's public, and taking their photos. There's just something kind of sick and wrong about that that I just don't sit well with. Um, because not only are you guys taking pictures from me that you believe are <laughs> behind the scenes, from EMH. Um, you guys also, you know, I've had personal photos of us taken from my blog. It's not just, it's not just EMH stuff. And, um, Evan has had this problem as well with Julie. Like, you guys repost their pictures and it's, it's kind of just weird, honestly. It's not something that sits right with me and Evan can make his own video if he wants to do, go ahead and address it himself. Uh, and, you know, put his uh, feelings out here on this situation. I'm not gonna 100% speak for him, but I know that the feeling is mutual. I know that he also does not approve or like it. Um, and I know some of you know that firsthand. <laughs> so it's just the fact that not once have has anyone even bothered to ask my permission. Um, not once has have any of you uh, respected the fact that even though it's a public forum, these are personal, photos. These are personal memories of mine that you were taking. The reason I am making this is because I usually just handle this on my own. I don't really do much other than just take care of the issue and move on. But it's becoming really, really um, increasing in the past couple of days. And the it happened last night and the response I got from the other person after as asking Instagram to remove the reposted photo is why I'm making this. Um, because the response I got from them after the photo was removed from Instagram kind of just blew me away and kind of just really made me, um, I guess it, it cleared some things up that uh, people who do this, you guys, uh, you know, whoever you are out there that do this, don't really understand what you're doing <laughs> or you don't care. It's one of the two. So in the past, what I would do, I would reach out to the individual and ask them to please, you know, and I would be polite, like, please remove the photo. I'm not okay with this. I'm not comfortable with this. Um, and almost every single time, which is just fantastic and great, I'm glad, has been met with <laughs> so much hostility and so much anger <laughs> as if like I have no right to ask them to do that. So I, I've entertained a lot of bad spelling and um, poor insults headed towards me, like pointed in my direction, all because I asked them to remove a photo that I wasn't comfortable with them reposting on their personal blog or whatever blog that they had. I've been told multiple times that there's nothing I can do about it to get over it, uh, that they're going to continue to do it. There's nothing, again, there, that there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, and then I'm usually <laughs> blocked by said person. So uh, I've stopped, I've really stopped just asking nicely. I've stopped being kind to these people. Um, anyone who does this does not get a kind word from me because honestly, I see it as disrespect and with how I've been met in the past by people who I've kindly asked to take down the pictures, um, I honestly don't have any respect for any of you that do it because there's no respect for me. <laughs> there's no respect for me in the situation if you're taking my pictures, so please don't expect any respect from me uh, back. <laughs>
What I've instead now started doing is just going to Instagram directly and having them, I report the image, they take it down within the hour. No questions asked, it's just, it's gone. Of course, uh, this was something that I was not aware of, but I think they even put a disclaimer on there that they, the offending party will be notified uh, of who put down the takedown notice and uh, they will see your full name, which is not something I'm also comfortable with. Instagram, this one's, uh, this, this is directed towards you. Honestly, I would really fix your report system because I do not want people who are uh, making me uncomfortable, who are calling me and telling me these really, really horrible things because all because I didn't like that they took my photos to know my full name and you have to put your full name, your full address, your phone number, you have to put all this information in if you want to report this stuff. And I don't think that's really fair. Uh, that these people get my full name and possibly even my address and phone number all because they stole something from me. That's not right. <laughs> That's a little weird. So what I want to talk about is the response that I got last night. So I did it. I saw another person who took my stuff. I reported it like normal and around eight o'clock at night I got a direct message from them on Instagram. Uh, they screen capped a photo from their email that said that the photo was removed. It had all my information in it and then uh, they put a, a message underneath and the message really really <laughs> blew me away. I just I, I can't get I still can't get over that message. They said that they understood the annoyance of someone else reposting someone else's photo or the better way to put that, they understood what it was like when someone reposts their work, when they, someone reposts their pictures. And then they went on to say like, <laughs> why did you do this? Like, I've, I've really looked up to you and I'm just really confused as to why you did this to me. And I just, I had to sit back and think about it. Like, <laughs> I could not believe that somebody was t asking me how I could do this to them. Um, I, I went into it and I fully explained why I did this to them um, as well as telling them that it was not very nice of them to be like this <laughs> um, when they're the ones that ultimately did something wrong. So but the responses that I have been getting, that one included, it just it it really shows me how little respect to that you pe like you guys have for me and I don't necessarily mean everybody because uh, I know this doesn't apply to everybody I know it doesn't apply to everybody um, but when I say you and I want to emphasize this when I say you I only mean those the parties out there that do this I don't mean my whole audience I don't want to alienate my whole audience here but it just really shows me that when you do this you have absolutely zero respect for me. My my biggest question here is, if you know it was wrong, why did you continue to do it? If you know it's frustrating, if you know it's annoying, if you know that not a lot of people <laughs> like it, like why, what possessed you to just move forward and continue to do it? I don't get it. That's what I don't get. <laughs> I have, I have like been considering it and thinking about it. Like I've been considering just making my Instagram private, my social media private, and I really don't want to do that because then that punishes the people that aren't doing this. It punishes every person that enjoys my content and maybe isn't even aware of EMH. Maybe they just follow me because um, of my own content, which hello, I do have my own content, I do my own thing. Um, <laughs> but I, I don't want to punish everybody because it's not everyone. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to take away something that not everybody is guilty of. So I'm making this video because I want to make a, an official statement. I've never just come out and said that I do not like it. I have only told the people honestly who do it how much I do not like it. So I want this to be my official statement on this subject. I do not like it. I do not approve of it. It makes me uncomfortable. I do not like it. You do not have my permission. I will not give you my permission to use my personal photos for anything. That's, that's it. You're not, I, I don't want you to use my personal photos. 
I, if you continue to do it, if you do it anyway, I'm just gonna take them down. If you happen to find them on Tumblr or anything else, just either share or reblog from the original source. Um, please don't take my photos. Honestly, that's that's really it. Um, again, as I said before, if you do it anyway, not only does it show me how <laughs> absolutely no respect you have for me, um, I will continue to take them down. I will have them taken down. I uh, This is not something that I'm going to back down on. This is not something I'm going to stop because it really does make me uncomfortable and it really does bother me. And I will take them down. You will also promptly be blocked. <laughs> I know you guys can just create new accounts, but I will do everything in my power to just keep it from happening again, honestly. That's the best I can do and that's really sad that I have to like make that statement, that I have to make a statement stating, you know, I know that you guys can just keep doing it, but I will do my best to stop you from doing it. Because I know there are some people out here who will continue to do it no matter what. <laughs> I really hope this video makes a difference. I really hope maybe this gets through to some of you who watch this, who also follow me on Instagram, who maybe also do this. Um, you know, if you're, if you really want to repost somebody's photo on your blog, the least you can do is ask them. And if they say no, they say no. That means don't do it. All right, so that's it. Uh, that's all I really have to say, honestly. Um, otherwise, I'm just gonna keep rambling about how much I hate it. So I'm just gonna end the video now. I'm pretty sure this was a nice, decent statement that got the point across. So hopefully it did. Um, and yeah, guys, I hope you're all doing well and I hope you all don't take this the wrong way. I just, I really want everyone to understand how uncomfortable and how upset like it makes me to see that happen. So hopefully that's it and everyone understands. And yeah, we can all move on from here. So I will see you guys in my next video. I'm not sure what that might be, but I will see you then. Goodbye.